Hi, how you doing? And welcome to this week's One Image My Edit. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to create a real nice deep brown sort of vibe to your images. Now, if you're a traditionalist, you're going to absolutely hate this. <laughs> if you're um, uh, if you like capturing your images and 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 sticking with true colors, which is absolutely fine. I know there's uh, a lot of you out there. And then this isn't going to be for you. But if you want to just learn a little bit more within Lightroom about how how mixing these colors can can really help you create images that are a little bit different and have a little bit of more edge and more mood to them, then this is going to be perfect for you. So I'm going to walk you through this and show you how to get this this effect here which i think is quite nice it's quite interesting and you don't have to use this just for landscapes this works really well for things like weddings portraits that kind of stuff because of the colors that we're we're manipulating within it so i'm going to reset this back to its original and um walk you through the process so the first thing i'm going to do with this particular image is just increase the color temperature a little bit by around plus 10 just to bring some more yellow and warm into it then we're going to work on the contrast. So I'm going to actually bring this contrast down to minus 50. I'm going to flatten the whole image and bring back a little bit more of that contrast later on using the tone curve. So the highlights, I'm going to bring them down a little bit as well, simply because this has a lot of white in it. And I just want to try and bring back some of the detail there. So bring that around to around minus 30. And then the shadows, I'm going to bring them right up to plus 80. So there we go. And you can see what I'm doing now with this. I'm making it quite flat so that we can then build it back up later within the colors. So the whites, I'm going to bring them down to minus 50. There we go. And the blacks, I'm going to bring them down to minus 50 too. There we go. So if you look at just look at that as a before and after, you can see what I've done. I've basically flattened the image. I've taken away any contrast that's there. You can see here within the um, within the mountain, you can see that the shadows are now lifted. Also the color temperature there, the yellow has just warmed it up a little bit. So it's just given us a really good base to kind of start with. So I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, clarity and a little bit of dehaze to this just to help push it up a little bit there. There we go. So just plus 20 is that's enough for for this image. You might want to play around with that. And depending if you're doing a portrait, then you may want to uh, not push that clarity up because it can tend to uh, make look make people look a little bit older than what they actually are. We're going to bring the vibrance down a little bit to minus 15 and and the saturation as well. So just bring the whole color down. That's going to give us a little bit of a moody atmosphere if we look at that you can see there what we're doing okay so we flattened the image and now we're just we're just controlling that whole overall presence of saturation and and, and vibrance there okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a simple s curve to the image so i'm going to isolate the whites at the top there and then I'm going to click down here for the blacks and I'm just going to bring them blacks down a little bit there. Okay. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to, yeah, that's all I'm, that's all I need to do. And again, depending on your image will determine how far you want to pull this down. So what I'm also going to do is do the same to the red, green and blue channel. And to make sure that I get the same adjustment, I'm just going to right click copy channel settings go to the red right click again and just paste that and i'm going to do that on the green and on the blue so there we go so we now know that we've got the exact adjustment across all three which can be quite handy gives you a really nice overall finish and you know it's very precise so now what we're going to do is look at the actual colors and this is where the majority of the work is going to take place so we've got the hue, which is the, if we look here on the hue, we've got the uh, the reds here, and then we've got the saturation and the luminance, which is the brightness. So let's just slightly manipulate this. So the reds I'm gonna bring down to minus 10. Same with the oranges, just bring them down a little bit. The yellows, I'm gonna bring that 
quite a bit out, about minus 50. There we go. And the greens, I'm actually going to push them up to plus 60. So the reason why I'm doing that is because I am making the greens more aqua and the yellows are making them more, more uh, going into that, slightly into that orange range there. So let's go to the saturation. The reds I'm going to pull just out a little bit to minus 10. Orange, I'm just going to push them up a little bit to plus 10. Yellow, I'm going to bring that down quite a bit to minus 50. Again, depending on your image will determine how far you want to push that. And the greens, I'm going to pull that a little bit more actually, minus 70. So around there, just because there was a lot of green down here. But again, you can adjust that depending on uh, your image. And then the rest of them, I'm going to actually strip away the colors. So the aqua, the blue, the purple, and the magenta there. So really just strip them out uh, just for now, just to see what, what it looks like. But let's, let's think about the luminance now. So the luminance, I'm going to actually just push the brightness up of some of these. I might actually go back and bring some of them colors back in in a minute. So plus 30 on the red, some of the orange. I think we just keep it quite similar. Plus 20 on the yellow there. Uh, green, I'm going to bring that down. Minus 70. And then you know, aqua, blue, purple and magenta. Just bring them out there. So even though I've brought down the, the brightness there, I've also brought down the saturation. So you can just do it on one and you'll get pretty much the same effect. But I do like to, when I'm taking out colors, sometimes uh, make sure it is all completely out of the uh, adjustment there. So now we've done that, we, we need to be aware that whenever we're manipulating colors, we need to think about the noise reduction. So within the color, I'm going to push this up to about 25. Noise reduction in general to around 15. I'm going to keep the detail at 50. And I'm going to bring the smoothness down to around 15 there and detail at 50 and just bring in a little bit of global sharpening up to plus 15, radius of one. Detail, we're gonna push that up to 50. And then masking, I'm gonna hold the Alt or Option key down and just push that up so that it is just sharpening the areas that I want, which is the white areas there. And that's, that's pretty good for me, I quite like that. That's good, that's looking really, really good. So that is, how you do it it's as easy as that so like i said the majority of the the work is done within the hue and saturation and luminance of these colors you can of course come back and tweak these depending on your particular individual image if we look at that as a before and after like i said if you're a traditionalist then this this won't be for you because it is completely manipulating color and it is creating a, a an image that is way way off of what reality actually was but from a creative point of view I think it works really really well it gives you a really nice deep brown vibe to your images and it can look um, uh, very add a little bit of mood and drama to it it's very uh, sort of end of world style shot and like I said earlier it does look really really nice in portraits as well um, I know a lot of wedding photographers that kind of use this particular very similar style with the colors, but they don't um, they don't saturate, desaturate as much. They'll probably just go 50% of the way uh, and it can produce some really, really nice looking images. So we could, if we wanted to as well with this, just finish off with a nice vignette. That would certainly help as well. Just bring the eye into the actual middle of the, middle of the shot and just help with that mood and drama. So yeah, that looks really, really nice. I'm happy with that. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing your images with this particular edit. Don't forget, next week is my Business of Photography challenge. It's a five-day challenge where you can learn all about how to set up a photography business or if you are running a photography business, 
you can get some tips and tricks on that. So come and join me for five days. Just go to dearsalagurichallenge.com and you can sign up there and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.